Connor, we've had an excellent Christmas period, three wins on the bounce, going into a tough game against Ultram tomorrow. How's it been this last week? Um, as you said, yeah, brilliant Christmas period, nine points from obviously the three games. Um, some really hard fought wins in there with the both South End games. I think they're, to be fair, a brilliant team. Um, doing a great job, Kev, over there, to be fair to them. Um, and they two tough games, obviously, come away with six points in them two games. were brilliant. Obviously, the derby before that here to give the fans a 6 0 winner derby is obviously a massive positive as well. So, we're in good spirits. Obviously, we were prior, to be honest. I think the performances, even win, in, within the bad room, were still good. Um, so, it's nice to finally get three wins on the board, obviously, in a row. And now we should move on to Ultram. Obviously, you just mentioned that. Uh, moving on to Ultram now, they're doing very well. They're in the playoffs. Had a couple of good wins in the last month or so. Uh, how are we going to prep for them tomorrow? A uh, really good team. Uh, he's done a brilliant job up there. They play a great brand of football, really attacking. They've got some exciting players in their team, uh, especially in their front line. So we know the threats they bring. Obviously, Con Clark's been on fire in the last couple of months within the division. Um, so we know, as I said, we know the threats they bring. We'll go and try implement our game plan and, and see if we can come away with three points. And this week we announced the new signing of Josh Keeley from Tottenham on loan. Uh, what does he bring to the group? A uh, really exciting prospect. Um, We've watched him quite a lot. He's an exciting young goalie. Obviously, playing for the under-21s of Ireland is a, is a great achievement for him. And shows a, the calibre of player that he is. Uh, brilliant with his feet. Reads the game really well. Obviously, a good shot stopper. So, um, it just adds adds competition in another position. We've got it throughout the group, so we've added that within within the goalkeeping department. So, it'd be it's a positive sign for everyone. Yeah. Over the Christmas period, there was a lot of players departing or going out on loan. We've brought Jordan, brought in Jordan Maguire, Drew, from uh, Yeovil, and obviously now uh, Keeley from Spurs. Is there any potential other additions over the coming month? Now the window's open for the football league sides. Uh, of course, we're obviously always looking to improve the group um, as best we can. We won't um, rush to make any signs. If someone comes along that improves the team, or we feel improves the team, obviously we'll try. We'll try and get them in as as any club would do. So, obviously Jordan's come in, done really well as well in the games he's come on. You can see how creative he is. He set up three or four really good chances with his ability um, in just a short space of time that he's been with us so we knew he, he had that ability to knock the door and that's obviously why we brought him in so we'll hopefully see him on the pitch a lot more in the coming weeks. This month we've got four long away days, um, Saturday, Tuesdays again. Uh, as a group how do you prepare for them? Is there going to be anything different or is it just going the same as usual? As the gaffer always say we take one game at a time. Um, we obviously know there's a busy schedule coming up especially with the, the amount of journeys we're going to have to go on but that's why you bring in these calibre of players, so we have a squad to hopefully um, withstand that that uh, amount of games. So we'll take a game at a time. We'll see where we are game by game. So if we need to use the squad, we obviously will. We feel like we've got the quality in the squad now to, to rotate maybe for some of them games. So as I said, we'll see how the lads get through games and how they feel moving on to pre uh, future games. So we'll use the squad as best we can. Dean's mentioned before uh, promotion chasing teams are built on good defences over the Christmas period obviously three clean sheets two very good ones against Southend as well when we were challenged a lot of times how how was that for going, confidence going forward? Yeah of course it is um, obviously you get a clean sheet you give yourself an unbelievable chance to win games of football so um, as I said though when you look back at performances even within the bad run I think even performances within that run were probably better than two performances against Southend if I'm honest um, obviously Southend they're a good team but our performances have been better in the two games, but what we did brilliantly was we were good in both boxes in the two South End games. So we defended our box brilliantly in both games and we were clinical when we got our chances. So that's obviously a big plus. If we can now take the performance in, in between both boxes to that calibre that we know we can and we can keep that uh, quality in both boxes, we know we're on for a success, successful season. And finally, is there any updates to team news ahead of tomorrow? No, we'll just move forward to the same group. Um, as, as you touched on, a few lads have gone along to get minutes. That would be valuable for them when they come back with us. But other than that, we've got the same group. We keep moving forward and keep working day by day. Connor, thank you for your time. Cheers,